Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So for those of you that have not had personal readings with me, I work intuitively. This is the second time this card has come out. Wild Woman. It came out earlier. And here I am shuffling again. So I work intuitively, but I also work with various um, tarot decks and oracle decks. So this particular deck that I'm using right now is the Goddess Oracle deck. And so the first card that came out was Baba Yaga, Wild Woman. So the energy for April 8th to May 8th. So what I'm seeing is an image of a scab being pulled off. And what I was hearing first was um, a couple of key words, consistency, but even more than consistency, one of the words I kept hearing was testifying. And I'm getting this thing about the truth and that if we don't tell the truth and if we don't face the truth, the truth will be exposed in a way that we may not have counted on. That happens. The devil card. Interesting. So what are, what are we addicted to? What are we addicted to? The devil card can mean so many things, right? Um, it could be, so it could be addiction. So it's interesting here. We've got this wild woman and then we've got this, this devil card. So again, what are we hiding? What are we, what are we keeping hidden? Hmm. And then the last deck. So this is the um, Afro Brazilian deck. And you can see the image of the devil is quite different than um, in the Rider Waite traditional tarot. And then this last deck that I'm pulling from is the Doring Virtue Mermaid deck. So Set your sights higher and play time. So that's interesting, right? That's really interesting. I don't think I'm going to pull any more cards right now. I think I'm just going to vibe off of this right here and what this story is uh, telling me. So what I'm hearing, so there is a wild woman. There's, a, there's another person. There's another, oh, okay, there's a secret Again, personality. So typically, when I pull from the Oracle deck, this deck um, typically tells you what goddess energy is surrounding the situation or what goddess energy needs to be encapsulated. Um, so what, what goddess energy is around you? So um, that could be the energy of Baba Yaga being, Baba Yaga being around, but also... Uh, what energy needs to be pulled in, what energy needs to be harnessed. However, the feeling that I'm getting here with this wild woman is there's some there's something about a double life. There's there's a double life here. There's there's the there's the face you show to the public and then there's the the thing you're hiding, the thing that you don't want to talk about, the thing you want to really, really keep hidden, the person you really, really, really want to get hidden. So some of you are in three party situations. Um and again, this is a general energy read from April 8th to May 8th. And so what I will tell you for those of you that are in this three party type situation, this addicted situation, this situation that you feel like you cannot get out of, as we said in the beginning of this reading, the word that I heard was testifying. I actually heard testification, which, which is obviously not a word, but I also heard a scab, a, 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 um, a scab being pulled off of a wound. And then we have this devil card. So for those of you that are involved in two, three, uh, four people situations, you, you really want to be very, very careful between this um, time of April 8th and May 8th, because this is also a time of revelation. This is also a time of, um, you know, secrets and things like that being exposed. Mercury retrograde, retrograde gives us the opportunity to slow down, to retrace our steps, to um, look at what we're doing and determine if what we're doing is really effective. And so if you are finding yourself living a double life, 
and or just not really being truthful just know that it's 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 not going to be able to last for long and so for the person who is sort of on the other end of that so if you are the sort of do we meaning if you're getting the raw end of the stick in this third party situation you want to set your sights higher increase your standards and expect more for yourself don't settle right you know we get what we expect you get what you expect you don't always get what you want you get what we expect and so we want to be as truthful as possible. You know, this is this is this is the spring again. This is a time of unleashing our power of stepping into the summer season as strong as possible. We don't want to have any sort of chinks in our armor. We want to try to step as 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 with as much integrity as possible. And then once we do that, then we have the opportunity to play. But we know that no playtime can come if we're living a double life and we're not being truthful about who we are and what we are. And so, again, there is this fear, this fear of being sort of seen, this fear of not feeling good enough, which is why you have a hard time setting your sets higher, which is why it's also harder for you to play. It's harder for you to find joy in the things that you used to find joy in. You know, when you're leading a double life, it's hard to find joy when you're lying to yourself. Hmm. And so I am hearing Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Leo... So for those folks that are dealing with those signs, if you are in a two and three party situation, you really want to separate yourself because for number one, that person is not going to leave the person that they're with. The person that they're with is giving them something that you cannot give them. Meaning the person that they're with This card could also be for them, the other person that they're with. So in actuality, for those of you that are in a three card, a, a three card, a three person um, situation, both of y'all are getting the short end of the stick. Don't think that the other person is getting more than what you're getting. But that person is putting up with a little bit more. So the, so the person that you're dealing with maybe giving you the bare minimum, but they're really giving that person the bare, 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 bare minimum. And they really don't want to be beholden to anyone but themselves. So, my advice to you would be to play like the movie and get out. Get out while you can. Get out while your um, reputation is still intact. Get out while your reputation is still intact. Magician reverse. Bottom of the deck. Magician reversed. So definitely three-party situation. Definitely someone who is, you know, again, the magician is one of the, you know, most cards in the, in the tarot. They mean many different things. So in this case, this um, magician, this person is um, very powerful. Not more powerful than you, but very powerful. So we have the magician reversed and we have the devil card, right? addiction and the magician so is this a sexual relationship i believe in the beginning of the year in the reading i gave in the beginning of the year i vaguely remember talking about people's sexual partners 
stopping their flow of money. I do believe. So clearly that's still happening. That's still going on. So So the magician is a person who's misusing their power, but you're also misusing your power. You're also not stepping into the fullness of your power. Look at how beautiful this card is. This is not the most beautiful card ever. This is what it looks like right side up. Is it not the hand of God, goddess coming down through that crown chakra? Upside down. Everything you thought you knew you didn't. All of your it's almost as if your 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 chakras, everything, it's almost as if this person has come into lot into your life and turned you upside down. It's almost as if you were um it's almost as if you're walking along, minding your own business, doing the things that you needed to be doing. And this person came along and they literally have turned your world upside down. And this person was very cunning. This person was very cunning. But now the mask has been removed. And now we know that what we thought was is not. And so how do we move forward? How do we move forward in this time of April 8th to May 8th? What goddess energy do we need to be pulling on so we can get to that space of playtime? What is the energy? What is the energy? Whoa! Yikes, it's just getting more and more interesting. So Sedna, so coming out of victimhood. My goodness. So we've got the magician upside down and then we've got victimhood. So this is really interesting, even thinking about what's happening energetically in our world. But I don't want to get too off into that because I, I just... Hmm. A lot of people feeling lost, a lot of people feeling underwater, like Sedna. A lot of people's worlds turned completely upside down. Everything they thought they knew, they didn't. Everything they thought they knew about themselves, they didn't. So this is a testing period. This isn't something to just trip off of too much. It's just a testing period to see what you really believe. So what you want to do from April to May, you want to take these, these next couple of you know weeks, especially up to this Mercury retrograde. And you want to meditate on the spaces and the places where you feel like a victim, where you've been acting out of your victimhood, where you've been falling back on your victimhood because it's easy, easier than doing your work, easier than telling the truth, easier than setting your sights higher. Sometimes it's just easy to, to go with the flow of what is normal, what is familiar. So who is your devil? Are you addicted to feeling like the victim? Is that your addiction? Are you addicted to low standards? Is that your devil? Are you addicted to not allowing yourself the space to play? These are the questions you might want to get curious about. Have you allowed the wrong people 
to have center stage in your life for too long. And what is beautiful? This is Amat Amaterasu, goddess, goddess of beauty. So what is the way out? What comes after this victimhood, this beauty? How can you find the beauty in your situation? I talk a lot about anti-resistance and not being in a place of resistance. Um, I don't use that language. I don't use that re resist language because I believe what you resist persists. So I look for open doors and spaces. So where can you flow into beauty? Next card in the deck, Shakti. Goddess Shakti. I'm sorry, Kali. I'm sorry, Kali. Whoa, we're really shaking shit up here. Hmm. Last card I'm going to pull from this goddess deck because it's staring at me. And here it is again. Play. Again. Bast. So there's a, there's a huge need for play here. So, so where, so in between this beauty and this play is this fear. Isn't this interesting? Isn't this interesting? So it's like a dual, it's like a, it's like a mirror almost. So we've got the victimhood, right? But then on the other side of that victimhood, there's beauty. So there's freedom in everything. So you got to look. You got to look for the beauty. You got to look for what's good. You got to look for what's good. But I don't know how to look for what's good because I've been down so long. You know, looking, she's got a mirror here. How many of us are fearful of looking at ourselves? in the mirror of accepting our own beauty. Oh, I get it now, spirit. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I'm going to bring it home. I get it. All right. So we know that there's a double life here. There's a double life happening. We know this. We've talked about that. We know there's a double life. We know that we're in addiction. We know we're not living up to our full potential. How do we know that? Because spirit is saying, set yourself higher. Set your sights higher. Want more for yourself. Go out and play. But we can't do that until we clean up those areas, clean up those people, clean up those situations 